All right, now we're going to get to put our stuff from subschool into action. Did you go to subschool? Okay, I so did not. You won't be able to tell how accurate this is. No, but since the U.S. Navy... Oh, that's where they get all their stuff, the U.S. Navy. <laughs> that's why they're accurate and stuff. Because um, they, they, uh, the, the Navy will... If they put their name on it, they are fairly strict about accuracy on, on, yeah. on many points. Uh, the security bullshit is is the story. It's not really naval accuracy, I guess. Um, so I would be surprised if this I'm, worked. I'm assuming accurate. that the guy they special thanked is either a PR guy from the Navy or ex-Navy, and that's why. Uh, could be. He wasn't given a title. Yeah. Um, if he were... Uh, currently a Navy flak of some sort. They probably give him his his rank. Mm, fair enough. Maybe they just couldn't fit it in there in the font they had in a way that looked good. Maybe. Though I would think they would want to because it would give that that sort of stamp authenticity of, of authority there. Yeah. There you go. Let's go We're on. turning the sub. You can see like we turn from whatever to 180 up there at the left uh, and right full rudder 270 degrees so now we got to wait for it to get to 270 so we're, we're following the orders we're given it's interesting that this guy comes aboard a ship or a boat that isn't his and he's now driving it even though he's not a pilot he went to sub school I know, but so did the person who should be in the maybe seat already. Maybe he's the only person. Maybe that person got to go on leave because somebody who had been to sub school was coming down. Well, if I wanted to get persnickety, then if if that's the case, then he would have a checklist of things he had to do before he started. Because um, you, you can't just take a, a an, an empty sh an empty boat. Submarines are boats in navy in navy parlance, not ships. Um, you, you can't just sort of walk into an empty boat and then take off, you know? You didn't go to sub-school, case. <laughs> this is true. Sub-school, they're like, all that checklist bullshit? Fuck that noise. Also, um, sub-school is often called nuke school, because our submarines are nuclear submarines. Um, I was invited to go to nuke school because my, my uh, testing was high, um, but it sounded dismal, so I didn't. Well over half the people uh, flunk out, um, and then they have to go into the Navy as what's called a non-rate. They, they have no specialty. They just sort of go in, so they spend all their time painting and swabbing. So, all right, we've got this, this high-stress job that you want me to try out for. If I, if I pass, I do this high-stress, horrible job that I'll burn out on. If I fail, I become the lowest rung of, of naval sailor. Um, no. No thanks. So do people drop out because it's just really hard, or do they drop out because, like, man was not meant to exist in a clo enclosed space miles underwater? Uh, some of each. Uh, mostly it's, it's, it's actually failing the, the testing, though. But yeah, I mean, some of all of that. Um, they, they do a thing called hot racking. You don't have your own bed. They don't have enough beds right. for everybody. So you, you take it in shifts. Um, it's very close quarters. Yeah. Okay, so we're diving, I think. I think that's what we're doing. That number uh, at the top is getting higher. Well, Level off of 200 feet. Yeah, yeah. Right. So we're 100 feet now. we got to get to 200. You'd think there'd be some images on the screen. <laughs> it's water. What else are we going to see? Like, what, are we going to see sharks passing by? Bubbles? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I would think they would have something. I mean, maybe they don't. Uh, maybe they literally don't. I would assume if you're seeing I... something on the screen, that's a bad sign. Yeah. Um... I, I'd feel more comfortable uh, piloting a vessel that, that I could see in front of, even if um, all of my actual steering is by uh, instruments. So, like an airplane, really. Right. 
I mean, they're, they're not steering by turn left at the cloud, but they still have windows. <laughs> right, or the USS Enterprise. All right, we hit 200 feet. So? <laughs> so spin in a circle. <laughs> I don't know what change heading to 360 degrees could possibly mean. I guess we're going to go north from here. And that map is so useless at that scale. <laughs> if you notice, we really haven't moved. We're just... Yeah. Kind of circling downwards, apparently. Oh, maybe that that is exactly what we're doing. A little corkscrewing down to the bottom. Which is my signature move in college. <laughs> is that... Should we be doing that? That seems bad. <laughs> um... Don't know. Uh, I would be surprised if that were the normal way to get to depth. That, that seems like an awful lot of maneuvering for something that you could do in... Just angle down and go forward and you'll wind up at your depth. And then if you need to, then turn around back to where you... But, I, again, I, I didn't go to sub-school. Well, I mean, except uh, sandwich artist school in some way. Boy, this, this game really... Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this, this is nothing... You know, this is the... I was impressed by the, the kissing... Uh, on on the edge of the bed uh, uh, action, but now steady as she goes. That's that's action terminology <laughs> there. That's 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 really doing something. <laughs> Nothing says action game like everything goes smoothly. Blow this puppy out and take her on a speed run. Yeah. Uh. That sounds like a bad thing but clearly that's not you know warp nine it's not like it's propelled by air coming out the back end hold on to your jock straps 350 <laughs> if you're going for speed you're not going to take a tight turn like that <laughs> well it's just 10 degrees it's not that tight of a turn well, 360 still means going all the way around, doesn't it? No, no, no. We moved it to 360. Now we're moving it to 350. So we're just moving 10 degrees. Oh, so it's some sort of absolute degrees instead of... Right, uh, right. Uh, okay. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> I'm not holding on to my jack strap for this. <laughs> I don't know. We're going... I don't know which one's speed, so we're going... I don't either. 57 miles an hour or 1,300 miles an hour? I don't know. Uh, it would be knots. Uh, <laughs> okay. But knots like click, nautical right? Miles. It just means miles an hour, miles. Uh, nautical miles are in close enough for, for civilian work, but uh, it's not precisely a mile. His... I still don't think we're moving up there. Oh, wow. I heard All right. you. <laughs> it, it just takes five minutes to update the map. <laughs> which seems impractical. Plus, you're clearly going off the map, so not only is the <laughs> zoom of your map impractical, the positioning of your map is impractical. It's early days of satellites. We <laughs> yeah. We're waiting for the satellite to get over the, uh, the West Pacific. Do you think they're in the middle at the top? Is that a periscope that's ready to come down? Unlikely, uh, but possibly. But I, I don't think they keep the periscope in the middle of the uh, sitting and driving board. place. Yeah. We have a briefcase. Briefcase. Wait, you're just gonna leave it now? Yep. You just that's the periscope in the middle there. I think. Oh, okay. You, you can't just you're. It's, Okay. <laughs> Fine. Just leave it on autopilot, <laughs> I guess. 
You forgot to inflate the autopilot. Oh. And there's a tree? This tree is very unlikely. <laughs> Rolling chair is incredibly unlikely <laughs> on a submarine. <laughs> I had a, a rolling desk chair on my ship, and uh, any time I wasn't actively sitting in it, we had to strap it to the wall. <laughs> and if we started getting swells, I couldn't sit in it. We had to lock it down. Cause, um, you need to know this in case it. I get shot. Oh, another number. Get enveloped. I, you showed everyone your orders. Yeah. Sagittarius. <laughs> Something new is on the horizon. Number three with wontons. Expediency. I okay. Jesus. That was a lot of syllables in that sentence. Yeah. Which is it, it, which is very navy. Oh USSR, remember that? Yeah. Uh okay. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Female CIA agent, oh no. Periscope depth? Oh, well, okay, I guess that makes sense. Mediterranean? What are you doing in the middle of the Pacific? You should be headed over there. Between Greenland and Iceland. That's not the Mediterranean. I. <laughs> it's going by so fast, I don't know if they're either being really stupid or if I'm just picking the wrong words out I, as I stand. I think they're saying what route to take to get there. Okay. <laughs> Looks like the fat's in the I've fire. Listen in the Mediterranean. Let's shove off and get back to where I'm at. I don't like all of his, like, fats in the fire, blow the puppy out the fire. And, like, this guy. He's, like, I he's gonna get a bad their, uh, trash on the farm. Their, their Navy reference guy was probably an old fuddy duddy <laughs> trying to use the slang. And I suspect that's where he got that terminology. Like, nobody actually ever says any of that. But, you know, the slang. He, he had to. He, he, that's that's what he thinks everyone talks like. We're gonna put your golden dolphins to use now, you hippie motherfucker. <laughs> oh, someone did take over for him. Is there a person there, or is that just? I, it looks like the arm on the armrest, maybe. Maybe. And maybe a foot underneath. It's hard to say for sure. Ah, now that's a nice military-looking map in greens. <laughs> It's very important they keep marking out the United States, though. Because <laughs> there are no borders anywhere on the map. Because it's not that kind of map. But we've got to mark out the U.S. Like, it's marked because out otherwise, it's like you can't fire a missile here. Like otherwise, you might accidentally wind up in Mexico. <laughs> oh, you almost hit Alaska. I don't know why you're... Or is that your route? Clearly, that's too long for missile. Yeah, you're mapping a route. Remember, that's what he told right. us to do, was to go. Right. And the plus is Mediterranean. So this is an odd route, because I, I guess because it's secret, he can't go through the Suez Canal? I think so. I mean, there, there was some reasoning to go via the whatever strait between fucking Greenland and shit. Greenland and shit. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah, a very roundabout way to um, do this. Sensitive nature, damn it. I mean, he could be going between those islands, too, but that would be a lot more complicated for the game. Cause I, 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 I expect that's open water in there. I thought that that's the way they had us go, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. And Alaska's huge in this uh, uh, map projection. <laughs> Maine is like three pixels big, poor thing. <laughs> it's shaped wrong too. the The northeast of the United States is not not correct. <laughs> I pick on the little things. That's that's what I do. <laughs> and Antarctica. Oh, see, look at that. That's Ooh. a that's a bitch yeah. to get through there. Yeah. Maximum deviation of zero nautical miles. What the fuck does? I don't know what that means. Maximum deviation. That sounds like a math thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Marking the map doesn't actually affect what the submarine does. <laughs> it's just making a notation. <laughs> oh. Well. No, there wasn't anyone there. We were just sitting. Sub... It was fine. Yeah. They'd call us He's... if we hit anything. That guy standing on one foot. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he's up to 88. He got a lot of points for all that. No. Oh, boy. This is... We've, we've short-circuited the processor here. Exactly. I think, uh... Adelsgard might be playing this on a time-specific computer. <laughs> Maybe. Time-appropriate. Right. Well, emulators sometimes are very finicky, too. I'll head two-thirds... Oh, that's right. We're emulating an Amiga for this. Right. Amiga. On, on like, your calculator. Yeah. I, I'm playing this on my iPod. Or a Latina, who's your friend. Right. I don't think you would be appreciated for playing submarine games on a, on a Latina friend. <laughs> Depends on how close you are. What kind of relationship do you have? I suppose. Acknowledge when depth is attained. Oh, it's so hot when we get to type depth attained. Uh. <laughs> Map hasn't changed, except we're not on it anymore. <laughs> is there someone back there needs to, like, turn the little crank to roll the map around to the other side? <laughs> Poke monkey. As it cranks it, you know. Mm -hmm. That was a monkey noise. Is that what that was? Yeah. It didn't sound anything like the squirrels from Deadly Premonition. <laughs> Death detained. I'm glad someone else is playing this game, because I think I would have uh, stopped by now, personally. All in a sleep. Crashed into the bottom of the ocean. Boy, you just you just fucking hold on to your hats, all right? Because this is hold on to your jock straps, in fact. Because this is uh, <laughs> it's gonna get so exciting in any moment here. Sonar contact. Twin screws? What? And uh, subs were not co-ed yet back then, so the whole jock strap comment was not as sexist as it would sound. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but there were no women on on uh, on subs yet. All right. It was the last part of the Navy to be integrated because it's such close quarters and, and people are like, woo, 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 you need to build an extra bathroom. Woo, 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 woo. There's only room for one person at a time in the bathroom anyway. Just <laughs> get over it. I have a lot of patience. Frigate! Ha! Ah, me! <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're within, like, 20 foot of a woman... Like, there's just no way to avoid fucking, right? I mean, that's... that's That that was our training when, when our ship integrated. <laughs> I mean, uh, f fucking or, or offending, or, or both at the same time. Mm. So just stay away from them was, was largely the instruction. <laughs> Women, just stay away. Wait till we get to port and hire a couple, and then, you know, get it out of your system. Sailors are good at getting it out of their system on their own, too. I mean, six months at sea, you you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> Even though they're very close rack uh, berthing quarters. This is exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> it's never been so excited. <laughs> you know, good on you, Adisgard, for, uh, for uh, doing this for us. We appreciate it. I mean, not for us specifically. Uh, I'm <laughs> yeah. pretty sure Ad Adisgard is unaware of us entirely, uh, but but we appreciate it nonetheless. Yeah, it's uh, this requires a special sort of patience. <laughs> I'll head slow. That's the game right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love maintain current speed and depth, that, which means do nothing. Just right. sit. Right. I mean, if you are, in fact, at the control board of a real submarine and you hear that, cool. But you're just playing lean an action back, game. Twine your fingers behind your head. Lean back in your chair. Stand. 
in the place that you work now face left <laughs> all right can I talk to one of these uh... that your secretary is that your <laughs> Coded message in Alpha that just came in from Naval Eye Command in Washington. The Washington! Fahed! Uh, Jakud! Okay. That's the key to the code, apparently. Or... Okay, which is the code and which is the key? And and how do you... I sure the hope the game does some of the work there, because you've not given us a, enough to code the crack, or crack the code. Yeah, we have, we have a little code cracking thing, but it just seemed like A is 1. Maybe we'll figure it out here. Yep. Well, I kind of like worry the we won't, picture of the Black Hawk in like an aquarium, <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I Yeah, I thought it was kind of amusing that the captain has a like a fucking photo of his own ship that's pretty cute. And then a picture on the left wall, pictures of various uh, surface ships. Right. That's just a microwave. On the left wall, it looks like he's playing Battleship. It does a bit, yes. Pink, pink and purple ceiling tiles. Awesome. It's empty! I think I've reached the level of adult where I should have a briefcase. It does feel that way, right? Oh, yeah. oh shit. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a title soon. Um, yeah. I have it written down on a piece of paper because I can never remember it. <laughs> Rip open briefcase. Oh, we can insert the ID into the briefcase? Oh. Shit, this is sci-fi shit here. Magnifying microfilm. Is this a microfilm player? Apparently. You could have... That didn't need to... The machine doesn't need to be secured. Oh, wow. Okay. Th thank you, player, for doing this, because I don't want to... So, wait. We needed the microfilm from a woman we happened to run into and who didn't even give it to us in order to figure out how to decode our fucking orders? It seems like an inefficient way to do business. <laughs> Boy, really lucky I fucked that chick and had that conversation with her. I wonder if the game would let him proceed if he doesn't find the earring. I wonder how far he'd get before the game says, uh, go back there. You missed it, schmuck. Right to that point, then you'd be like, where's your microfilm? Oh, God! Right that, like the glint would get bigger and bigger every time it sends you back. <laughs> My life is a lie. Oh, these games fucking love that, man. Like, you gotta pick up something in the third screen that comes into play halfway through. Right. U.S. Navy decoding computer. That was uh, your code word? Apparently. Steer, Russian. Go ahead, give me a third one. Penis pump. <laughs> ah, those Russian steer penis pumps. Fisherman. What? And you're still... Oh. Do they mean that literally, or are they in code? Oh, God, oh, my. Uh, yeah. Uh, 4140. The Song of Hiawatha. Oh, I had that memorized once. I can't remember a single word. Yeah. Well, I bet you can remember one single word. Hiawatha. There you go. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just keep throwing in words, see what it gives us. I mean, like, if we say, like, Easter and Bunny, will it give us a message? I think that would be cool. 99 it might is not be, It might not be pertinent to what we're doing, but... I like impertinent. 